Welcome, geeks, to another episode of 256 Seconds with Don and Dave. Today I'm going to be talking about how we can speed up the string builder by using an object pull. An object pull is a type in .NET where you can actually pull objects so you get them when you need them and then return them back to the pool when you don't need them. And in most cases, this should probably speed up your code. When you need that little bit extra performance, the object pool might do the trick for you. The first thing we need to do is create a string builder pool as a field level object in your type. And I would put this probably mostly in helper classes, like static helper classes. And here you can see how you do that. You just create an object pool of string builder and then create a new default object pool provider dot create string builder pool. And that's all you need to do to actually set up the pool itself. Now to use it, all we need to do is get the string builder from the pool instead of creating a new object. And you can see here in this example, you do that by just doing here. You can see string builder pool dot get. That's all you need to do. Now you have a string builder. Once you have your string builder, then you use it just like normal. And in this case, I'm simulating concatenating strings together from an array by just doing string builder dot append. And once you're done with the string builder, then all you do is return it back to the pool for use the next time it's needed. To prove to you that this works, here is my benchmark results. And I'm using a collection size of two strings, five strings, up to 250 strings. As you can see, in every case, using the object pool is faster than not using it. So the next time you need to speed up the string builder, or maybe another object, uh, you should look into using the object pool in Microsoft Dynamics.